here today have had ample opportunities to pursue our education and our careers without having to worry about how it will impact our families when we're not at home helping them. But I'm gonna start with a story of a Nigerian 12 year old who wasn't able to go to school as his family's hardships uh, made him drop out. He was forced to drop out of high school at the tender age of 12 when he had dreams of becoming a lawyer to go into the capital of his home country to scavenge for meager sources of income. Every year, millions of students like Omar have, every year millions of students like Omar have to be able to draw, let go of their dreams and drop them so that they can help their families in times of dire need. Every year, thousands of future doctors and engineers have to throw away their dreams so that they can just help their families get by. But what if we could convince them that attaining an education will do nothing but help them? What if we could show them that going to school for each year will increase their income by 10%? This is where we all come in. You might be thinking, why not give them a short-term incentive, like a donation? Do donations could help them buy books. And this is what we would think of when we're thinking of donating them to pursue their educations. But they're not thinking of the long-term impact of going to school. They're thinking of the short-term necessities that they have to think about before. They're thinking about food and water and other scarcities before thinking about going to school. This draws the focus away from donations to their necessities, and this draws away the focus of these uh, the long-term goals of pursuing an education to the short-term goals of just make, getting by. But what about offering free, free meals at school? In many countries, including the US, this has already been implemented. But again, this shows students to be dependent on the facilities given to them rather than using them to become independent in the future. Instead, we should invest in something like a Montessori system Montessori schools are usually used for primary school kids currently, giving them experiment-based learning. But instead, in grades 9 through 12, we should focus on giving our high schoolers and people in the later half of their education the opportunity to experiment and to build products which could actually help their communities. Instead of letting them just go drop out from school because they need to get water to back to their house, we could help them engineer a robot like you can see here to do that for them, which would not only help their communities when they're at school, but ensure that they are learning what they need to to survive and to make a much better living that their parents are currently making. Instead of having to stay at home like Omar had to do in times of drought, they could work with local labs to engineer drought-resistant crops to help them and their communities in the near future. My vision is quite simple and involves three key steps. First, I believe it is instrumental to show them the fruits of, how atta of attaining a quality education. Attaining a quality education will help them not only learn how to be productive in the workforce, but it, they can bring this back to their communities and make them much more efficient at the jobs that they currently have to do just by hand. Then. From, from building robots and purification systems through school, we can then preach theory instead of doing the opposite, which is what we do currently. Preaching theory after this, then they can build even more complex innovations so that they can even make their communities even more efficient without them, rather than making their communities dependent on their labor. Oh no, okay. Um, and finally, I think, that if they can have this iterative process, they can finally go to, high to college to really pursue the dreams that they want to pursue. The future is counting on us. The future is counting on us to donate and dedicate a few of our pennies to really help many of our future thinkers. Thank you.